For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney, and we're here at Mobile World Congress Americas in San Francisco to learn from Norbert Muir a little bit more about how Quetel Wireless is addressing the IoT market. So obviously this is a red-hot space. What is Quetel's plan to uh, address the space? What's the opportunity there? Well, thanks for the chance for the interview. Quite appreciate it. So what Quetel, what we are doing is we're focusing purely on cellular connectivity. We want to connect the inter Internet of Things and we're doing that with the broadest portfolio in the market today, ranging from everywhere from narrowband IoT to high-speed uh, Snapdragon-based Qualcomm modules. Okay, and this is just, a, like we said, a, a huge fragmented market. What really helps Quectel stand out? What's your core competitive differentiator? Well, we, where we're standing out, that relative to our other competitors, we're focusing purely on cellular connected modules, so we're not distracted in our strategy by any kind of services approach, recurring revenues, nothing like that. Our focus is crisp and sharp and clear in cellular modules and we do it very well. We have a huge R&D base in China. We are today shipping 36 million modules annually and with that we're going to be the market share leader in units this year already. You mentioned LTEM connectivity. In the U.S., uh, Verizon and AT&T are very much focused on that. Can you tell us a little bit more about how Quetel is addressing LTEM? Yeah, of course, the U.S. is very big now on LTEM. Most carriers, all the carriers here actually are, as are carriers across, across the globe. So we're addressing that uh, segment with our BG96. It's a globally approved module. We got the U.S. approvals there as well. Not only do we have that, that module, there's various flavors of that with fallback solutions and on. So I think we are very well positioned. It's based on a Qualcomm proven technology. Customers like that quite a bit because Qualcomm has a, a huge potential. They have huge innovation power. They're a very trusted company. And we're very happy to have our solution based on that. That makes us stand out versus the competition as well. We're very focused there. So as you continue to grow the company, help us understand your strategy in addressing the North American market. Well, our strategy actually is very simple. Number one, like I said, we're very focused. We're focused to cellular modules. Uh, one of the largest markets today is actually China in units. And we are the, the market share leader there. We have more than 50% market share in China. And from that volume, from that growth that we're having there, we're expanding internationally. We have a very strong sales force in Europe already, and now we're expanding heavily in, into the US, building up forces here. And uh, it's our clear strategy. We're leading the market this year already in units. And it's our clear strategy by that by 2020, the latest, we want to be market share leader in revenues in cellular modules as well. So speaking of, of 2020, we've seen all these projections of the billions and billions of IoT connected devices we'll see by then. Help me understand how Quectel is going to continue to be a market share leader and what's the strategy over the next four or five years? Yeah, the strategy is simple. We take the profits that we're making, the margins we are making, we are all reinvesting it all in the business, number one. And Secondly, we are planning to go for an IPO in Shanghai, and this IPO in Shanghai will deliver nice cash flows back into the company, which we're going to use again to invest in development, in sales, in field support, everything that's centric around cellular modules, centric to our customers being satisfied, centric to being innovation leader in the market. Norbert, I really appreciate you taking the time to keep us up to date with how Quectel is addressing the IoT market. I appreciate the chance for the interview. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.